But a brick wall would stop her momentum in May of 1986, as the FBI raided the home of Tracy Lords, setting off the biggest scandal of the industry's history, as it was discovered that all but one of Tracy's films were made while she was under 18, with the threat that every actor or filmmaker in Tracy's movies could be charged with felonies, no charges were ever filed against Ginger or her co-stars. However, Ginger was called on to testify against the adult industry if the issue ever went to trial, Ginger refused and according to Ginger the FBI kept a close watch on her, in order to catch something that they could use against her, several years later Ginger made a small mistake on her taxes, she was convicted and sent to jail for over four months. Ginger still holds a grudge against Tracy Lords. There is just one thing. What's that? You're a cruel, mean, son of a bitch and I could never forgive you for what you put me through. So just go f*** yourself. And often questions her real age and if she was working with the FBI before the scandal even broke, as Ginger was shown photos of her shooting films with Tracy, Ginger also questions Tracy's accusations of drug use and the predatory nature of the adult industry forcing Tracy into films. Fuck are you, what the hell is going on? Tell me. Tell me or I'll choke you to death. Okay. And who's that girl under 18 she did? What was her name? You... Well, it's questionable in my mind whether she was under 18 or not. Oh, really? I've known her for quite some time. You've uh, known her? Yes. Uh -huh. Her stage name was Chrissy Lo um, was Tracy Lawrence. Christy Newsman was the name that we all knew her as. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started making films about the same time. Uh -huh. And um, I have my doubts whether she was underage or not. I, I've known the girl for quite some time, and it's very difficult for me to believe. And if it is true, I think it was an awful thing to do. Well, when I first started making films, the first year I worked for other people, and I saw, you know, I was paid very well. I started out at a star salary, or I didn't do it. I called, I said, if I'm going to make films, these are things that I want out of it. I had a lot of respect for myself. Um, but I saw everyone else making so much money, and I thought, this is silly. I can do this. Right. So I got together with a young man who's very near my age, and we started a company called Vivid Video. Mm -hmm. And we together made my last 14 films, which I helped write, cast, direct, and I, um, I got into the business end of it. Difficult to direct, seems. No, actually, it, it's, very, it's very easy because I know when I look at I watch my films, and mm -hmm. if a director's telling you do this, do that, right. you know, it's something that you have to be totally into. And if someone's telling you turn here and turn there, it throws me off. My family was shocked. They did not know that I was doing adult films, and I didn't tell them. So my father walked into an adult video store, and there I was. Uh -huh. And he went home and brought my grandmother back, and she was quite shocked. She <laughs> cried. She, she yeah. cried, and you know, wanted to know why. And and I was sad that I had hurt my family, but I didn't feel bad about what I had done. So I explained to them that I'm the same girl as I would be if I was a doctor, if I worked at 7-Eleven, no matter what I did. Uh -huh. Only I made a lot more money, and um, it didn't bother me. And I was sad that it hurt them. And now, w since we've discussed it and talked about it, we're closer than ever. And they're proud of me, if anything. Jujuan, making a lot of money. Really, making a lot of money. I'm very comfortable. You are. Yeah. Eric didn't like to follow orders. Warren said he was his own army. He'd get his assignment, and then he'd do what he wanted. The colonel said 99% of the time he was right. Ginger would make the bold move to leave her adult career behind and strike out to mainstream movies, which it is ironic that both Tracy Lords and Ginger Lynn would be the only adult stars that would really reach mainstream success. Christy Canyon has said that Ginger was always good about remembering her lines, and was probably the best actress ever in the adult industry. Ginger also has a good sense of comedic timing. Do you have any, uh, stills? Any what? Stills, honey pictures of your work oh yeah when i was employee of the month at burger king i had my picture taken but i have this hat on with the hamburger I, is that okay uh you don't have a portfolio oh no i had my shots in high school study acting i've been studying with um under alan and senior from milton katsaris for the past two years mm -hmm. and i studied with uh, half a dozen various coaches here in los angeles Ginger would start with some background parts in films such as Dr. Alien, Young Guns 2, and Bachelor Party, but would achieve the lead role in the first three Vice Academy movies in 89, 90, and 91, 
which was meant to be like Charlie's Angels meets the Police Academy series, she would continue to do a string of B and straight to video movies, including playing Nurse Sanders in the first American Pie spin-off movie Band Camp. I want Ginger Lynn to be known and recognized and respected as a legitimate theater film actress. I've been studying very hard and working very hard on it, and I want to be and will be the first person to make the crossover into the mainstream line of films. Do you think the people out there are going to take it serious? The only way that I have to, the only thing I have to go by is by my fans and the letters that I receive daily. Uh -huh. um, most people know that I'm not making adult films anymore, and all they give me is encouragement and, and tell me to go for it and not give up. My family, my friends, everybody has a lot of faith in me, and I have the most faith in me, so as far as I'm concerned, I will make it, and I don't. I think the public is ready for it, Right. and if they're not... They certainly are. Hans out there, they're <laughs> all out there. I mean, everybody's... Bakers, they're all carrying on out Everybody. there. Well, they don't yeah. have to watch the adult films. If they don't want to see me in that, mm -hmm. they can just watch the mainstream films that I do. And to date, the highest grossing mainstream film with Ginger is Rob Zombie's The Devil's Rejects. Ginger would also play the part of Rachel Coriolis in the 1995 interactive movie-style video game Wing Commander 3 that had an all-star cast including Tim Curry, Mark Hamill, and Malcolm McDowell. My name is Ginger Lynn Allen and I play Rachel Coriolis in the CD-ROM interactive game Wing Commander 3. When I first found out I was going to be working with Ginger Lynn, I wasn't really sure who she was, but I sure found out. And I think she's a wonderful girl and someone who's really risen from a, a dodgy past to legitimize herself in a, in a big way. Uh, when I found out that Mark Hamill was playing my leading man, I was a little nervous because I, I remember him as Luke, the Star Wars guy. Um, but when I met him, he was really, really nice, very easy to work with, and it was just a, a pleasure. I think the most difficult part about working on this was the fact that there are no sets, and the entire thing is shot with a green screen. So I play a mechanic, and I can't see the ships I'm working on, or um, when I'm doing scenes with Mark, there, he's not really right there, and each scene has four or five different endings, so we had to really bond and be comfortable with each other in order to make it work. I found that seeing the project when it was done, was, it was amazing. I had no idea what the computer graphics would be or the magnitude of, of what they could create by generating graphics and putting real live actors in with it. I think it's, um, it's very, very futuristic. In 1998, director Jonas Akerland was tasked with making a music video for Metallica's cover of the Bob Seger classic Turn the Page. What started as a music video idea grew into an award-winning short film as well. Ginger had turned down the role for months before deciding to do it. Ginger has since said this is the best thing she has ever done. I shot for a week to do the background, to do the, you know, the, right. my role. And if you see the video Turn the Page, you know that... Uh, it's, it's like a mini story, a mini movie right. within a music video. And then Jonas also made it into a 15 minute short film. So I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of that. I remember we had an MTV, uh, uh, what do you call it? Premiere or whatever? Well, MTV premiere, you know, here's right. the, it's going to air at this time. And I had about 30 people over my house. My grandma was there. She was living with me. And after, we were watching, my son was about three years old, and in the American version, there's a lot more violence than there is in the European version. And when the guy threw me on the bed, my son went up and he's banging on the TV, and he's, he's like three or four having a fit. Um, and I'm like, no, honey, it's not real. And, you know, anyway, that's, I don't want to get into that. Right. But um, my dad called me. And you know my dad. You, mm. you know, everybody that, that's known me for years, my dad was around forever. And uh, my dad called me up and he said, Ginge, and he's the only person that gets to call me that. He said, you are a really good actress. I am proud of you. And that just made me melt. That made me melt. I didn't know you were making a comeback. I had no idea that you were making it. Now, what made you decide to come back? I didn't know I was making a comeback at that time uh, either. Uh, three factors. Number one, I hadn't had good sex in quite a while. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> You didn't offer. Number two, uh, it didn't seem to make a difference to mainstream Hollywood whether I did porno one day or 100 years ago. And three, VCA made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> From 1999 to 2010 Ginger returned back to the adult film industry, and has since operated an OnlyFans account while she still makes B-movies. Without the extension we can't meet payroll. It's that simple. 
board of directors meets on Monday, as you know. And since you and your friend Mr. Hibble own virtually all of the stocks, I see that as a mere formality. But you can't hold out forever. I know all this already. I know all this. Can't this wait a little bit? Perhaps if my father were to... With all due respect, Mrs. Rand, even your father can't bail us out of this one. What we need is the bank extension. And most of all, what we need is passengers. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to anything right now. That's right. <laughs> I've brought all the paperwork with me. If you'd like to review last quarter's figures, you'll see that the earning curve dips drastically from January through. You're beautiful, but I don't care right now. I just got home. Thank you so much for your time and careful consideration. I'll see myself out. Come on! I just got home. I just want to... The future for Ginger is still open and the sky's the limit.